If you happen to follow me over on Instagram, then you'll know that about three months ago, I had a little baby girl. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not be aware of that at all. If you're subscribed to me here on YouTube, you've just seen me posting videos every single week. You might have thought I gained a little bit of weight, but other than that, you might not even know anything was really up. But the reality is that not only did I have a baby, but I also took the last four or five months off of filming videos. Now, I've continued to post here every week because I pre-filmed a bunch of content, but I've been out of the office off camera myself, taking a lot of time off. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you what I've been up to these past five months and answer the question, is it possible as a YouTuber to be able to take time off? I'm gonna share with you exactly what happened to my channel while I was away, for better and for worse, how it impacted my channel, because I see a lot of people who are interested in starting their own YouTube channel, but they're a little bit worried about the commitment. Maybe they're not sure that they can stick to something, or maybe they just don't wanna feel tied down. And I can totally relate to that because personally, I'm a little commitment shy myself and I don't really like signing up for things, or even just signing up in the sense of saying I'm gonna do something. Things that I have to do every single week, no matter what. And that was one of my biggest hesitations with starting a YouTube channel. All right, so we're at my computer. I've got my YouTube analytics pulled up. And the first thing I wanna look at is my average video views. Now there are two different aspects of this. The first aspect is the views that a video gets when it first comes out or in the first couple weeks after it comes out. But then we have the views that a video accumulates over time that account for my channel's total views every month. So in other words, I've got a lot of old videos and they actually produce the majority of the views that I get on my channel, not the newest videos that I just put out. So I'm gonna look at those newest videos first. So I have not been filming videos for a little over four months. I didn't film basically in April, May, June, or July. It's August now when I'm recording this video and you'll probably be seeing it in September. So I'm gonna be looking at April, May, June, and July as far as the analytics go to compare to the previous period of we'll say four months as well. So here are the videos that have come out in this time period. Um, this one just came out today. It hasn't hit 2,000 views yet, but here are the ones that have been out for at least a few days. 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, 10,000, 12,000, 8,000, 9,000, 8,000, 8,000, about 8,000, or back to June now, 9,000, 6,000. So you can see this one, oh, this one hit 36,000, almost 8,000, almost 10,000, almost nine, seven, 11,000, 87,000, okay, and now we're back into March. So that's kind of the range. So most of them I would say got an average of around 10,000 views. A lot of them were a bit under, but then there were several that went above that. Um, so that's what happened while well, I haven't been filming. On the other hand, prior to that, so looking at March, obviously we've got this crazy outlier here. This is one that has accumulated a lot more views. And of course we are going to see that these older videos will have more views since they've had more time to rack up those views. Um, but let's just see how they're looking. So we've got 87,000 views, 13,000, 13,000, 9,000, 251,000, 14,000, 62,000, 60,000, 100,000, 8,000. So for the most part, it's looking like those older videos did in fact get more views. But like I said, that's mostly just because they've been out for a longer amount of time and my videos tend to perform really well in search, which means that I get most of my views from those older videos. So let's look at that now. Let's see how many views I've gotten over the past four months compared to the previous four months. So I'm just going to choose March 1st through the end of July. So we have a clean four months and then I'll hit apply. And it looks like over that period of time, I got 3,400,000 views. Not bad for three months. And as you can see, that is a lot more than you would think it would be looking at just how many views my most recent videos have gotten. But that is just the beauty of YouTube as a search engine. So now let's look at the four months previous to that. So that'll be December, January, February, and March. So in the previous four months when I was actively filming, I got 3,164,000. So approaching 3,200,000. A little bit less than in these last 
four or so months when I wasn't filming at all. Now, of course, that's not to say you'll get more views if you don't film. It just means that you don't have to actually actively be there yourself all the time. It's okay to film some content in advance and then post it while you're away. And it's not going to impact things that much. Now, I actually got more views while I was out of the office, while I was not actively on camera. It wasn't because of that, of course. My views just fluctuate from time to time. And to a certain extent, there's nothing I can do to control how many views my older videos get. But the fact that I wasn't actively filming, it didn't have a negative impact on my channel. All right, now another number that I thought would be interesting to look at is my income over the past four months. Now, because we've already looked at the views, this number isn't gonna be very surprising, but over the past four months, I've earned 28,700, almost $800. So right about $29,000. And now I've switched it to December through March, and you can see that I earned just shy of $28,000, which like I said, is super predictable. And what that means is that because I recorded some videos ahead of time, I was able to keep making money even while I was taking maternity leave. Okay, and then the last number I wanted to look at is subscriber gain. How many new subscribers did I get in the four months when I wasn't filming compared to the previous four months? So as you can see right here, in the four months when I wasn't filming, I got 70,400 new subscribers. And then in the four months prior to that, I got 68,300. Again, it's very predictable as soon as you see how many views I got in those two time periods, because subscribers tend to very closely correlate with the number of views I get, and revenue certainly does as well. Long story short, obviously my channel did just fine even though I took a break. I mean, those three million views that I got while I wasn't filming, they were enough to push my channel over 20 million views to date, which is so exciting and I can't even believe that 20 million people have watched my videos. I mean, how crazy is that? So yeah, my channel did just fine. And taking the time off was also really, really good for me. I think that it gave me a good creative break, both from making the videos, but also running my business. That's something I think a lot of people don't talk about, that running a business is such a creative thing. It's not all science. It's not just the science of running a business. There's an art to running a business also. And uh, especially as a small business owner, as an entrepreneur myself, there's just so many decisions that I have to make and I have to come up with creative solutions to problems and creative ways of achieving my business goals. And sometimes when I'm just in it day to day, day after day, and I'm making videos day after day, I can kind of get in a rut with things. So this just was a breath of fresh air for me and I feel like I realized a lot of really important things while I was on this break. One thing was just that I really need to simplify things. I'd been making the process of making videos more and more complicated and involving more people in ways that I, I didn't really need to. It's just making the process overly complicated. And so I've just really realized that I need to simplify the process of making videos to be able to reconnect with my message and to feel more authentic and connected with you guys as I'm making these videos and sharing with you. I don't want to get too like separated from the process and be too analytical about the process of making videos. That's something that's really important to me. Also, another thing that I realized was kind of similar, but I need to do some editing myself. I've been outsourcing the editing of my YouTube videos for years, and that's mostly just due to the time constraint that I have as a mom and as a business owner. I don't always have time to edit my own videos and I really haven't for years. But I realized that if I want to kind of, again, reconnect with that creative vision for the videos and my message and connect with you guys, that I really need to sit down and kind of get my hands dirty in the creative work so that I can see my vision for the videos and actually put it into action myself and just kind of see how it gets executed instead of just having a vision and then handing it to someone else and not being 100% satisfied with the ultimate result. This is gonna be the last of my realizations, but another thing I realized is that in order to hit my real goals, I need to work even less. Now, I've talked about working less on this channel before, and I have a whole podcast all about working less. I'll leave a link to that below if you haven't listened to my podcast before. It's called Work Less, Earn More. 
But anyway, I normally work around 20 hours a week. That's normally what I aim for. But as I was prepping for maternity leave, I was working way more than that, about 30 hours or a little bit more every week. And I knew it was too much. I was also really enjoying it. But taking this time off and reconnecting with my family, really, spending more time homeschooling my kids, more time playing with my kids, it just made me realize that I've been kind of missing out um, in the name of building my business and success. And I wanna make sure that I don't stray down that path so I realized that I need to give myself a more hard and fast limit for the amount of work that I do because my real biggest priorities, it's not making a million dollars or growing my business to any other arbitrary metric, but rather building my business in a way that's really sustainable, built, creating a business that really, really supports our customers and helps our customers get the results that they're looking for. So quality over quantity, not hitting huge numbers, but instead doing really high quality work and then running the business so that I can support my family rather than running the business as a, just a pursuit of itself. I want it to be something that really supports my lifestyle that I want. I think so often it's so easy to see the world's definition of success and the, just the society's definition of success and to chase that and to try to make a certain amount of money or have a certain position or be featured you know, on a certain piece of media when in reality, deep down, I think we all have goals that are a lot simpler than that. And so I wanna make sure that what I'm doing here on YouTube and doing with my business really supports those goals. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, the main point of me sharing this with you is because I want you to know that it's totally possible to take time off of YouTube. I spent a few months before taking maternity leave filming extra videos every week. And this took me a few hours every week, but it meant that I was able to take all this time off and see my YouTube channel continue to grow and thrive while I was enjoying time with my family. But I just want you to know that you can take advantage of this amazing platform and use it to grow your business or just your brand online and use it to make a great income in a really flexible way. And you can do it on your terms. Before I wrap this up though, there is one more thing that I wanna share with you. So hang on just a sec. So this is who I've been spending pretty much all my time with lately. Her name is Indigo May, and we picked out her name years ago, but coincidentally, she ended up being born in the month of May. Right now she has blue eyes, as most babies do. Um, so hopefully she keeps them. I don't know, I have two kids with blue eyes, and then my third, uh, we named Verdi, which means green in Italian, and she happened to end up with green eyes. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that we get lucky in the same way this time around. I've been really loving spending a lot of time with Indigo and with my entire family, and just so thankful for this amazing relationship that I have with you guys, and this just all the amazing opportunities that God has brought my way over these past few years in building my online business. And I can't say thank you enough to him and to all of you guys for being here and your support. That's everything for today, but I hope you're doing really, really well. And I'll be back next week with another video. I'm back to my regular filming routine now. So all of the content you'll be seeing from here on out will be uh, freshly filmed content for you guys. So I'd love to hear any video ideas that you have. If there's anything you'd like to see me talk more about, uh, if you have any questions for me about building your online business or your YouTube channel, or um, if there's any aspect of my life or my business that you would like to see more of like a behind the scenes look at, then please do leave me a comment below or DM me on Instagram at Gillian Z Perkins. And I would love to hear from you and I would love your ideas. So thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness, that scared me. Uh, something just fell out of the outlet. It was plugged into the wall. The main point of of shmi 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 for me. Blah 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 blah. I'm not used to filming anymore. <laughs>